Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video in particular, we're gonna talk about the embedding layer. So to give you guys an idea on how this um, layer works. So let's start uh, by importing a sequential module. Okay, so we're gonna import from, uh, let me, from keras.layers, we are going to import the embedding layer. So this video is going to be just about the embedder layer. Let's import um, NumPy as NP and let's create a model which will be equal sequential. So let's add the embedder layer in our uh, sequential model. So the first parameter, as guys might remember, is the number of words. Just for the sake of this video, I'm going to put 1000. And the second argument is the size for the embedding, uh, the embedding size, which you could see, which could be uh, a number. Uh, I'm, I, I like to use small numbers, such as um, just for, the, for this tutorial, I'm going to put a 4, but you could put uh, 32 or 64. So this is our model. We need to call the function compile. Okay. Let's do that. So, and after that, uh, loss equal MSC. So this is our model, but the thing is, is there, I'm going to print the prediction for some random uh, index indexes that I'm going to show you guys. So, if you guys might remember, uh, the embedding layer computes a vector for an index. So if I pass any index such as a four, uh, let me see, um, eight and three, three, uh, we could see that we're going to get a vector for each index. So you could you could think of this as a word. So if I have a huge vocabulary, this could be uh, a word. Okay, so this could be a sentence. So let's run it. And you guys will see that we have three vectors because we pass um, three indexes and each uh, vector has the length four. So let's just wait a little bit to see the output um uh, the thing is that this is um this is um let me formulate that so if you guys want to reuse embeddings in keras it's better use a pre-trained model pre-trained word to vac because this um this approach here is not efficient okay so but you guys can see that we get the, those vectors, okay? So we get those vectors, but they are not very good. So you guys can see they are, they're not very good. They are very similar. So if you wanna build a very robust model for text class classification and such, you should, you should use a pre-trained model. But uh, the thing is that we got, we did get those vectors okay so thank you guys for watching this video see you guys next time